So one of the things that I've found out about you, both from um, the questions I asked and going to your website, um, is you do something called the color code. What yeah. is the color code? The color code was, um, it was actually Taylor Hartman that came up with, he's a psychiatrist and it was really super hot in the nineties. And I worked at the time I worked for a company and that was their form of training you. And it's, it's like a personality, but it's really not. It's your motive instead of your personality. So everyone has a motive. And uh, what I like to teach people is if you're not, if you're not attaining your motive, um, then at some point you will lose interest or you will fail. And what I like to teach is do yourself, do who you are, and then it's easy. So if you're doing something that's not natural for you, like a lot of realtors may want to be transactional and that's great. That's fine. And then there's other realtors that want to be referral agents and it's a lot easier for certain colors to be a referral agent. And it's very hard for certain colors to be, um, you know, the, the spinning wheel, if you will, you know, keep going and to the next and the next and the next. And so um, that's what I like to try to teach. I pull it out of them. I try to help them see who they are and then let them be their best self. So what, what's, give me a story about somebody who might've found, like discovered something about themselves with this color system that opened their eyes about themselves in a new way. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's easy. Um, so one of my favorite colors is white personalities. They are so misunderstood and they are the introverts, but they're introverts because their motive is peace. And so they are the, they're the kind of people that are so kind and so warm and so loving, but they don't really show it because they're a little bit like stressed inside. And so they're the ones that aren't very good cold calling. You know, they're the ones that get excited about being in real estate and then they get in real estate and they're thrown on a rotating call machine and they only last two months, you know, and they're just, they're so sad. And so um, I taught this guy how to um, reverse that. You know, if you're not good at something, it doesn't mean you're not going to be a good realtor because if you're super kind and you're an amazing person, then channel that service that you have in you and turn it into something that can make you money. And, you know, whites don't keep score. So I'll just give you an example. Um, one, one of them is actually my husband. He's kind of fun because when, when I teach my class, um, I, I make fun of him all the time. And, and uh, when he came one day, uh, I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? Because he's here. <laughs> all you know, my jokes. I was like, oh crap, I have to be nice. But um, he is a white and he is such a service oriented person. And we were laying in bed one night, binge watching a show, his phone rings, it's nine o'clock and he always answers his phone no matter what time. He picks up his phone and it's a client that um, he sold a house to a couple years ago. And um, the guy's like, hey, sorry to bother you. I just want you to know that my toilet's running and I was just calling to see if you know you had a plumber that you could refer to me or something. And, and what does is, what is my husband do? gets out of bed, puts his pants on, drives over to the man's house and fixes his toilet. Now that's something that I teach as far as that personality is so kind and so loving and so service oriented that he's made a living off being kind. And so that's, I've had several whites that have just had like, wow, that's exactly who I am. You know, my wife gets mad because they want to drag me here. I don't want to go. I'm actually uncomfortable with these events. So probably the whites are the ones that are just like, wow, this is helping me so much. I can do it, but I have to do it my way. Well, and I think for, for anybody in real estate or in any business, that if you try to do it the way everybody else is doing it and not the way that's in alignment for you, then it, you're going to come across that opposition that things yes. just don't work. It's like trying to put a round peg into a square hole and you just end up struggling and exactly. getting frustrated. Right. And, and they go to these um, classes when they first get started, they go to all these different classes and some of them are great. And some of them say, if you're not uncomfortable, then you're not going to make it. 
And that's just simply not true. Wrong. And yeah. I'm not, I'm not bashing that. And you know, there are some colors that go, okay, I'll get uncomfortable. And they get out of their uncomfortable, their comfort zone and they, they do great things. But there's other colors that it will just like squash them and they'll crawl under a rock. And, and that's what I try to help them with is what is the best direction for you to go and to stick with it.